Hey guys, check out this uh, dissolve uh, effect that I made. Uh, it's based off of that really cool Brachys tutorial, except for I, uh, I switched it around so that instead of dissolving the whole effect, the whole object at once, it actually dissolves it uh, as the object passes a, uh, a certain plane. And that plane is dissolved over here by this dissolve plane. So uh, it's just an empty, and it just takes its uh, rotation and position, uh, which is cool. Uh, for my purposes, basically what I'm doing is I've got this thing where I need to be able to physically pull uh, digital objects out of uh, 2D screens like this and into an augmented reality space. And I kind of wanted to uh, spice that up a bit so that it's fancier <laughs> when it's transitioning into the AR space. Uh, so here, let me show you how it uh, comes together. Um, basically, there's there's a couple spots. Uh, for the most part, the dissolve stuff, which is mostly the stuff right here, is based off the simple noise. And this is the stuff straight out of uh, Bracky's tutorial. Um, yeah. Um, so it, it's basically just noise that you, the uh, shader ends up using for uh, alpha clipping. Um, and then down here, I've got some stuff for doing uh, for now effects. So you'll notice... Uh, We've got the object hand's got this kind of a white uh, edge to it. That's from uh, this Fresnel stuff. Uh, but the main part where I actually uh, added some stuff here is up here. So I use a, an input that is the position for the uh, the geometry, and it's in world space. And then I set up some properties here for the location, rotation, axis, and the rotation angle for the uh, the where the cut plane needs to be, which uh, when we looked at it earlier, that's the dissolve plane. Uh, so I'm using a, a little C-sharp script to pump those values into the graph. Um, but yeah, so once you've got that, then there's just a couple uh, uh, things happening here where I take the location property and I invert it by multiplying it times negative one, and then I add that to the position. So basically that uh, has the effect of moving everything all the position stuff relative to that plane, so that the plane ends up being at uh, uh, the the world origin at zero, as far as the rest of the shader is concerned. Um, so we add in the um, the position, and then we do the same thing for rotation. You can see I've got a rotation axis and angle, and then that is what ends up getting uh, spit out over here, where we're splitting out the uh, the coordinates, and we're just looking at the z value which I know it says RGB, but it's X, Y, Z. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so basically it's just looking for a, a band and it. Uh, if you're on one side of the Z axis, then you get this color. And if you're on the other side, then you get this color. So it's white and black, which just basically makes a mask, which you can see here. Everything that's on the left side here will end up being... Uh, Oh, I think I can't remember. Probably black. Then everything on the other side will end up being white, or vice versa. I honestly don't remember. Um, and then basically, I end up using that black and white as uh, a mask for the uh, the noise stuff and the Brachys tutorial business, uh, which is really simple. Um, it's great. the uh, The one thing I did have to do with that to be able to have a fully solid state and a fully disappeared state. Um, I had to multiply against my mask, um, and then I also had to add the mask into the results. So that way you get uh, full blacks and full whites instead of uh, just meandering in the gray. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I've uh, I've rambled enough. That's uh, that's how this works. In any case, I thought it was kind of a fun effect, and I will talk to you guys later.